नो सॉरी प्रोफेसर आई डेंट नो बिनी यू शुड हैव बीन केयरफुल आई हैव टू डू इट ऑल अगेन आई एम सॉरी प्रोफेसर बाय द वे व्हाट वर यू डूइंग सी द कलर इट चेंज्ड या आई वाज परफॉर्मिंग एन एक्सपेरिमेंट व्हिच इज नाउ स्पॉइल्ड एज आई पोर्ड फ्यू मोर ड्रॉप्स ऑफ केमिकल देन नीडेड ओह सो हाउ डिड द कलर चेंज द वे योर फेस कलर चेंज्ड व्हेन यू हिट मी एक्सीडेंटली <laughs> Chill. Color changed because of those few extra drop. Oh, few drops can change the color? Yes, Bini. Even one extra drop can spoil any solution. Hmm. Thank God this doesn't happen in our day-to-day -day life or else someone like me will keep hitting people and spoiling things. No, Bini, it does. It does happen in our daily life also. even with something as general as water <gasps> water how is that possible water can get spoiled by the addition of some undesirable substances this is called water pollution oh professor i would like to know about water pollution and its sources sure bini let's enter the world of science to know more about water pollution Show sure, professor let's enter the virtual world Qualitative change in water due to addition of undesirable substances is called water pollution The main sources of water pollution are industrial waste untreated sewage fertilizers detergents oils pesticides and litter Industrial waste is the major water pollutant. Some of the common wastes like acid, alkali and metal compounds are dumped in the rivers by chemical factories. Metal pollutants like mercury do not kill fish, but it accumulates in their bodies. Consumption of such contaminated fish leads to accumulation of metal in our body and results in hair fall, rotting of teeth and even death lead is another hazardous water pollutant but the most dangerous water pollutants are radioactive waste from nuclear plants oh professor this is scary even we can suffer from hair loss and rotten teeth ew <laughs> yes, Bini. But think about those fish. They have no choice but to stay in that water and suffer. Yes, and suffer, suffer because of selfish human activities. Hmm. Professor, tell me more about water pollutants. Sure, Bini. Now let's zoom into the virtual world to impart some more knowledge to you. Sure professor let's enter the virtual world Sewage is the household and municipal waste of a particular area A large area of untreated sewage in farm waste is dumped into rivers and seas every day The untreated sewage which contains pathogenic bacteria when added to water causes diseases to humans and animals Detergents and washing powder brighteners which improve the whiteness of cotton and linen fabrics these contain phosphates a common pollutant Many detergents are biodegradable they can be broken into simple substances by living organisms and this is not harmful to us Some detergents are non-biodegradable and their high concentration can kill fish and other aquatic life Waste paper, plastic containers, food and drink cans form the next category of pollutants. They make the environment unclean and unsightly. Fish and small animals eat bits of litter which causes choking in them and eventually results in their death. Oh, this is shocking. Even wafer packets and cold drink bottles They also are water pollutants. Yes, Bini. Not only that, 
but also the detergents that we use, any soaps and even Yamuna River is getting polluted day by day because of all this. Oh, all this is true. I have seen sewage and industrial waste flowing into River Yamuna. Yes, Bini. You should also be aware about water and facts related to that. Let me brief you on some. Sure, Professor. I would love to know. On that note, let's enter virtual world again. Our planet Earth stands unique among other planets. This is because of the precious water present on Earth. Water is essential for sustaining all form of life. Food production, economy and for general well-being. Water present on Earth covers three-fourths of its surface. Maybe you know that water is a renewable source of energy. Then why do we need to worry about water scarcity? According to United Nations World Water Development Report 2003, Actually, 97.5% of total volume of Earth's water is found to exist in oceans. The remaining 2.5% only is fresh water. But even this total 2.5% of fresh water is not available for our use. Nearly 70% of this fresh water stays frozen at polar ice, glaciers and permanent snow covers on mountain tops. Thus, only a small proportion of 30% of the total fresh water that exists on Earth is available for our use. This fresh water appears in the form of surface water and groundwater that is continually being renewed and recharged through hydrological cycle. Availability of fresh water is again reduced due to water pollution. Fresh water is polluted mainly by industrial waste, human waste and also by agricultural waste. I'm sorry professor, I didn't know about these facts. I won't waste water ever. Mm, not on anything? No professor, I would use only what is needed. I'm happy, Bini, that you understand and are reacting accordingly. This issue needs serious concern. Hmm, Professor, but what about the water that is already getting contaminated? It may be affecting human or maybe animals as well? Yes, Bini, it does. Have you heard the news of death of black bucks recently? No. Did they die because of water pollution? Let me answer this. Do you know that nearly 13 black bucks died and life of 73 other black bucks were in danger in the zoological park in a city? Oh really? Why? Yes, and all because of consumption of polluted water. How did the water get polluted? The water got polluted because of the sewage discharged from the nearby drain. Who found that out? A two-member team set up by Central Zoo Authority. They discovered during their evaluation that the water was plagued and polluted which caused the death and illness of black bucks. Sir, what exactly happened to the black bucks due to water pollution? According to the zoo officials, black bucks were suffering from diseases like severe toxemia and intestinal infection. This is terrible. Water pollution can be seriously very harmful. Alright friends, it is now time to dive again into the pool of information. Let's have a quick recap of what we have learnt today. Qualitative change in water due to the addition of undesirable substances is called water pollution. Lead, magnesium and nuclear waste are major industrial wastes that pollute water. Fertilizers lead to eutrophication. Untreated sewage contains pathogens like bacteria. 
when the untreated sewage is added to water, it causes diseases in humans and animals. Non-biodegradable wastes, if present in higher concentration, can kill fish and other aquatic life. Litter also makes the environment unclean. I have noted down all the points carefully. Oh, uh, by the way, Professor, what was that experiment that you were performing when I entered? Was it something related to water pollution? No, Binny, it was something else. But now it's time for me to re-perform that. So let's end the session here today. Goodbye, friends. See you again in the next episode of Science for Juniors.